Now, chances are you'll find a lot of pills that were assembled in India, which were made with ingredients that came from China. Thanks to the novel coronavirus, however, a lot of the factories in China are still shut down. If that situation doesn't improve in the next few months, the world might have a serious problem on its hands. You may not know this, but India supplies about 40% of U.S. generic drugs. This week, they announced they will restrict the export of a couple dozen drug ingredients and the medicines that use them. Adding to the uncertainty, the complexity of the global supply chain makes it very hard to say exactly how big of a problem this might be. But for a small number of drugs, the problem is already here. According to Bernstein Research, input prices for common drugs like anti-cholesterol statins have increased by as much as 40%. Generic manufacturers maintain large inventories of active ingredients, so they haven't run out yet. That doesn't mean the danger has passed, though. Just last month, the Financial Times reported that some Indian drug makers were struggling to source acetaminophen, which is the active ingredient in Tylenol. Antibiotics are also a source of concern because they're often supplied by just a single source overseas. China is the largest exporter of basic antibiotic chemicals by far, and India is the largest importer. The good news is that generic drug manufacturers keep substantial inventory of active ingredient on hand, so there is time for factories to come back online before there are serious problems. As a result, it's unlikely we see mass shortages before the summertime, even if the situation does not improve. But that cushion won't last forever. Eventually, the healthcare of the developed world will depend on whether the Chinese factories can get online in a timely fashion.